Hey everybody, here we are in Quarantine Cuisine and happy Monday to everybody. Um, I don't know if all of you heard the news, but my family and I over the weekend were reunited. Um, Nicole's ex-wife Rosa's test came back negative, so all the kids were here. We were all reunited on Saturday morning. It's been the best weekend. And now we're rolling right into the week, starting homeschooling. I'm sure all of you can uh, that have kids can relate. We're starting the homeschooling here. So, hey, we're all becoming uh, teachers. I have a big appreciation now for all the teachers around America. My dad was a teacher. Nicole's mom was a teacher. So, big appreciation and shout out to all of you, as well as all the health workers and all the people on the front lines of this virus. And, you know, we've been quarantined now for about three to four weeks. We've been in isolation. And, um, you know, listen, I know everybody's scared, a little overwhelmed in these uncertain times. I know... Um, the higher power is teaching us something, and I'm sure we will know at some point what that is. We're probably, all of us are probably already starting to figure out that it's, hey, more quality time together. Um, you know, more, you know, a little less is more, or a lot less is more um, in a lot of our cases. And I'm just happy to be connecting with all of you. Um, I had, the, again, said I had the best weekend having a great time with my family. I know, I mean, listen, even under all these circumstances that are really, really tough and challenging, we're having fun over here at the core house and we're just trying to keep it positive. We're just trying to keep it real. And, um, you know, hey, hashtag fork the virus. And uh, that's what we're trying to say is like, keep it strong. And today, a lot of you the other day said, please do ceviche. So I said, you know what? I have a piece of salmon in the fridge. I've got some frozen shrimp, I have a lot of vegetables, things like I've got a few pieces of cucumber. I literally have little pieces of this and that. I had some red onion left over from another dish I did last week um, with you guys. I have some cherry tomatoes. I have a little bit of oregano. Don't have cilantro, but oregano. Um, cucumber, red onion, and I have some frozen shrimp. Tabasco, I got a lemon off our tree, as you can see. It is a real lemon right off the back of our tree. I think we had one that was ripe. So I picked it today just for you guys. And I'm gonna make ceviche. So here I have already marinating in some of that fresh lemon juice right off our tree. I've got some salmon. I have a little bit of jalapeno in there. And you know, the cool thing about, um, you know, I was reading about a lot of, you know, um, how ceviche made its way from Peru to Mexico to a lot of other Latin American countries around the world. and it's such a great dish because anything really can be put in ceviche. It's really making it your own. And I know there's some classic techniques. Some people that are purists that say this is the only way to make ceviche, but you know, you can put a lot of different delicious things in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this shrimp and you know, we're having a little, you know, fiesta here tonight. We're going to have ceviche. I've got I've got nachos on the back stove ready for the boys. I'm gonna pile it really high with some ground turkey. I've got black beans in it, tortilla chips, cheese. I've got some cherry tomatoes on there and I'm gonna throw that in the oven after I put some, you know, just take some ground turkey and saute the ground turkey and, and put it right on top and a little more cheese and then pop it in and make it like a loaded nachos. And ceviche we're gonna have as a little appetizer. I got a little Corona beer hanging out. And I'm just going to throw some things in here now. So some cherry tomatoes I'm going to put in. I've got, as I said, I have a little bit of oregano. I like cilantro. I don't have any fresh. So I'm using what I have on hand so it doesn't go to waste. But again, like I said, you know, make it, ooh, that didn't matter. I really, I only had one sip of Corona. So I don't know what just happened. But hey, this is keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real on Quarantine Cuisine. So here we go. I'm going to throw some of the oregano right in. And, you know, as the week goes on, you're going to see we're going to have some special influencers and leaders popping in to talk about their perspective on what's happening, their industry. Not everybody that I'm going to have on is from the food industry. And I love that because we're going to get a lot of perspective and point of view from a lot of different industries as we go along. So we have some special guests coming up this week as well. Just want to Chef, tell you that. Chef Eight Man said, can you eat raw salmon? Couldn't you get sick? Um, this isn't going to be raw. It's going to be cooked. So what we do with ceviche is you cook salmon. It's going to be cooked in a process that's just a cold, kind of a cold cooking. So you're cooking it with a, an acid, like a lime juice or a lemon juice. So it's not going to be raw. 
I'm going to be, by the time this marinates and cooks through, it'll be cooked all the way through because of the acid. And that's the beautiful thing about ceviche is that you can make this. You don't have to put it on the stove or in the oven. You can just actually put acid in like lime juice or lemon juice in with the raw fish and it actually cooks it all the way through. So that's the great thing about ceviche is that, you know, that's the process. So somebody asked if you could freeze fresh bell peppers after slicing them, absolutely. if they don't use them all at once. Yes, you can definitely freeze bell peppers after you've cooked them or, a, if, or raw, either way. So I have actually some bell peppers in there right now that I've got frozen. So that's the great, you know, right now is a time to be freezing almost everything. I have milk frozen. I've got egg whites frozen in a carton. I'm freezing as much as I possibly can to keep things around because we're going to, we're trying to stretch everything on a budget, just like all of you are as well. So it's really about what can stay shelf stable and what can be frozen. And right now, that is really the name of the game. The freezer is our best friend right now. Anything that is shelf stable, like rice, pasta, canned beans, canned tuna, beef jerky, dried fruits, those kinds of things, all those kinds of things are all shelf stable and can stretch and they're inexpensive, a lot of them are. A lot of the rice and pasta and canned vegetables and canned beans Canned tuna, all inexpensive. Canned tomatoes. Shelby great. says hello. Hey, Shelby. How you doing? Shelby, Hi. you uh, must be painting a lot and drawing a lot right now. Yes. Kim I says am. hi, too. She's happy we're all back together. Oh, thank you. We are, too. We're having the best time. I mean, we really are. I mean, you know, you guys, I mean, I, I have to say... You know, it was a really lonely week without my family. Um, I was super productive. I did as much as I possibly could to distract myself and stay busy and stay mentally sane. Um, and now this is just a wonderful gift to have the family back. It's loud. It's crazy. We're going, everybody's going in different directions. There's eight people in our house, but I mean, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I mean, it really is the best thing ever is to have your family with you. I mean, unfortunately, I wish we could have all of our family with us. I wish we could have our mom and dad in Miami. I wish I, we could have our grandmother and uncles and brother in New York and in Orlando and Mississippi. I wish we could just have one big commune. But um, right now, we're just doing the best we can. I think everybody, again, this is such an uncertain time. This is such a, a time of, you know, where we, it's, it's, we really do, or I don't think we'll ever have this time again where we'll just be as present as possible with our family and not have all the distractions of work and business and flying around the world and doing all the things that we do. So enjoy it as much as possible. So, um, they said if you added sherry or a beer, would that kill any possible bacteria? I would say that any vinegar is really good. The acid is really good to kill, to kill bacteria, like lemon juice, lime juice, all those kinds of things. Acids are really good. Um, any kind of vinegar. Beer, not necessarily. If you added tequila to it, sure, it'd probably kill anything. <laughs> but I don't think beer is strong enough. It doesn't have enough alcohol in it to really kill bacteria. But I definitely think if you wanted to add, if you added a shot of tequila in here, you could definitely kill some bacteria. But... It definitely needs a little bit stronger, um, you know, nutrients in it to kill anything that would be, you know, anything that's bacteria. But I think really just handling it properly, having it in the refrigerator, if you've handled it properly, if you've frozen it, you thawed it out, used it right away, you add, again, the ceviche, if you add acid to it, it's definitely going to cook it all the way through so you're safe. Um, it's just really about how you handled it before you had it. So, I mean, before you, when you bought it. So if you bought it, brought it home, put it in the freezer or put it in an airtight container or use it right away, that's your best bet. Brand new being said, do you like to add a hint of uzu in your ceviche chef? I have never done that before, but I'm going to try that. I like that idea. Uzu makes everything better. In I my think opinion. he said uh, yuzu? Yuzu. Uh, not uzu. You said uzu. <laughs> I did. What? I did. I'm talking, uh, I'm talking Greek right now. Oh, uh, we're talking Greek. Yuzu is amazing, actually. I think yuzu is definitely an acid that you could absolutely add in the place of lemon or lime. You, for sure. I love yuzu. I actually get it. I actually get it fresh and pure in bottles, in small bottles. Is it and lime? It's kind of like a lime taste it it's a, yeah. no it's, a, it's like a it's a japanese lemon it's like yeah. a, a variety of uh the citrus family for sure so what i did was now i added a shot of tabasco because i like a little hint of you know spice in there you could also add a little bit of 
chili if you wanted to in certain ways. Again, this is, you know, make it have what you have on hand and the things that you like in it. So what I did was I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. I'm gonna give it a little bit of uh, flavor that way. I'm gonna add again some more of my, now that I have the shrimp in, I'm gonna add a little more of the acid in it. I'm gonna add some more lemon to it and get that really, really good. And then what you could do is this is really great with lettuce wraps or if you want to do some chips around it. What I did was, you know, this is a great way to, this is an amazing time to pull out things like your grandmother's old china that she might have handed down to your mother, your families, or your uh, old glassware. This is actually a candy dish that I use at Christmas time. I pulled it out of our um, armoire to use tonight just to show you guys that you can dress something up that it, you can this is a great time to pull out things that you only use once a year and use it right now with your family just to liven everything up it's almost like the holidays this is the time you know the only other time of the year that we get this kind of time is really during the holidays and this is kind of like that so pull those kinds of things out pull your silverware out your china out pull nice glasses out your glassware and treat yourself you know, it doesn't have to be once a year. This is a perfect time to do that. So that's what I did. I said, I'm going to pull out some of my candy dishes and I'm going to use it with the ceviche tonight. So I'm adding lots of lemon. I've, I've added this whole lemon in to this because it needs it. So total, this is probably a pound or a little more of seafood in here. And all of my different fixing is it. You can see that the salmon, you can see the salmon turning a little bit. You can see it starting to turn a little lighter color. That means that it's cooking with the acid. And the more it cooks and sits, the better it gets. So you can just cook this. The salmon's already cooked. I mean, the shrimp has already been cooked because it was frozen. So then I added in the cucumber. Remember, cat recapping this, I added in salt, pepper, cucumber, added in jalapeno, added oregano. I would like to have cilantro if I had it on hand, but I don't have it on hand. And I added in um, some cherry tomatoes to it as well, some red onion. So getting all that flavor mixed in. I mean, there's a variety of different ceviches. There's green ceviches that are made with more of a, you know, herb sauce that they toss in and things like that. So, you know, there's more of a chili style ceviches. There's, there's all kinds of ceviches. It's very, very, you know, from country to country, from region to region, you're gonna see a variety of different things that go on with raw fish that you can do. So, you know, for now, this is, to that me, looks delicious. this is really, oh really ready to go. I don't want to overcook it either because you can overcook the fish as well. So I don't want to do that either. And you can see it's really nice and light. That means that it's delicious right now. It's perfect. And I'm just going to put it right into my container here, my little glass candy dish that I'm now turning into a little ceviche dish and making a pretty presentation for the family. The kids love when I, when I dress things up and I show off a little bit with the different presentation. So it's fun for me too. And I like to impress my wife. So uh, this is a really good thing. Impress your family with this, but this is beautiful. I mean, this is a really delicious ceviche and it'll keep cooking and, you know, with the acid a little bit before you eat it. So it carries over some, we call carryover cooking, meaning it just continues to cook a little bit with the acid on it. Somebody it's beautiful. said, um, can guy one said amazing what you are doing. My boyfriend and I watch every evening. Thanks so much. Oh. And hello cat. Thank you so much. I love that. And you know what? This is why I do it because I really want to connect with all of you out there. I really want to, I want to feel like we're all having dinner together, or at least cooking together for dinner. And you know, that's the whole point is that right now is a time to take the world, make it smaller and let's all connect in this time. That's a little scary. It's very overwhelming for all of us. It's, you know, uncertain, but the one thing that we can do and that we know we have, we can count on is the people that we're next to we're isolated with, we're quarantined with, and if we can just lift each other up and amplify each other and make each other happy, that's all I care about. Oh, guess who says hi, Paula to ah, Silva. Hi, Paula. Next time, jump in, girl. Next time, pop in and, and give us some- Pop beer. in now. Pop in Request want, now. Right now, come on in. We wanna see come you. Come say hi. And there you have it. And I like to do, I can do lettuce Shel cups with this. Oh, I lettuce can do, cups, are, lettuce really cups are beautiful with this. If you want to put this out, you can do, I've even seen people do crackers with it or even tortillas, like little corn tortillas that you char a little bit. Get those nice and charred. They're delicious. All right. 
Shelby said, have you watched any new shows or movies? You're having fun doing commentary Wednesday nights for Tournament yeah, of Champions. Yeah, so every night, every Wednesday night, you guys tune in at 10 p.m., Food Network, Tournament of Champions. I'm doing Triple C, which I call it. Triple C is my series. And uh, it's Cat's Couch Commentary. So every night I'm doing a blow-by-blow, play-by-play of the tournament, the whole show. And it's funny, comical. Um, sometimes, you know, I take myself a little too serious <laughs> being an Iron Chef. But I'm giving all of my point of view of what I would do. I'm trying to call it every single time on who I think is going to win. But check it out. And uh, I'm going to keep doing that. I might I might come in and do, you know, who knows. Maybe next Sunday I'll do uh, Buddy versus Duff and do a little triple C on that as well. So just trying to have fun, trying to stay connected with all of you guys. And uh, I think it's fun when we can, you know, all gather in the same place in this small world called Instagram Live. So Kim said, it seems like no time has passed from high school and here you are changing the world. That's so sweet. So sweet, Kim. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And, you know, anytime you guys have advice, anytime you have, you know, you want to give your point of view of how you're, you know, you're getting through this with your family and give tips to everybody else. Um, who's listening in or, you know, watching, please do that. I mean, speak up. We all want each other's point of view. Everybody's point of view is important. Everybody's perspective is important. It helps all of us. It helps me. It helps us, right, babe? Oh, my gosh. It helps us all the time. For sure. And, I mean, you know, we have the ceviche tonight. I'm going to put, I like to add just a tiny bit of olive oil just to, just to, you know, get a little juicy there. And, uh, we have the ceviche. We're going to throw some, uh... Some good. I was gonna come over to you, babe. Oh, thank you. Though I was gonna, I'm you. gonna throw some turkey meat. I'm gonna ground some turkey. I'm actually gonna saute a little turkey meat. Add some cumin to it. Some garlic powder. I'm trying to use up as much of my spices right now as well. Chili powder in there, and I'm just gonna get it really nice and yummy. And I'm gonna put it all on top and add some more cheese and make a loaded nachos as well. So we have the ceviche, loaded nachos, a little Corona. Not the kids. Um, they're having. Uh, something else so <laughs> but we're gonna have a good time tonight and carissa again, de silva says hi she said she heard your voice from the kitchen oh my god hi carissa paula you haven't figured this out yet oh i love it sign off tap back on to the live and then it will say do you want to be in the the video but you have to jump off it first and then you jump back on and then it will ask you yeah come on in i mean we're we're excited to have our our friends jump in and and anyone else who wants to come on and talk about how they're getting through this together with their family and anything cool they're cooking right now or they've cooked over the weekend or they're going to cook. Your birthday remember, party is coming up. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. My birthday is Friday. Yeah. Do the math. <laughs> Might take you a minute. Do the math. Um, April 3rd, Friday, April 3rd, we're going to have a big, fun party outside grilling you guys are all invited all of instagram is invited and come on five o'clock pacific time jump on and celebrate my birthday send me some warm birthday wishes because it'll mean the world to me right now especially so it's all invited we're going to post an invite on the, my home page and you guys can oh check it's it out. posted it's posted yeah, yeah. oh it's already posted love it everybody's invited come on it'll be the biggest party I've ever had. It'll be virtual. So hopefully, you know, the, my whole, my whole community will be in and maybe some other friends. So come on in and have a good time with us on Friday. We're looking forward to it. What else we got to say, babe? What else is going on? You got any, you um, any I was waiting to see if Paula figured out how to jump on. Cause I'd love to know what she's cooking right now. She's the executive chef at the Ritz Carlton and um, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. And they just the best did a, time cooking. Doing they, that dinner with them at, at South Beach Food and Wine Festival is the best dinner. for the most fun. Cooking with her and her whole crew was awesome. What else, babe? Give us some point of view. What's your perspective? How is it coming home and having a reunion with me? Oh my gosh. I didn't want to pick up the, the, the phone for, <laughs> for days. I just wanted to be in your arms oh. and eat, eat your food. <laughs> I think the and I think the kids felt the same way. They're like they don't want to let go of us and they don't want to stop eating. Yeah. Well, they're oh, gonna, they're gonna feed. Paul is on. Ready? Hey. Okay, hold on. I figure this out. Okay. I love it. 
Let's see. Joining Waiting Barola, for Paula. It's time to see you. Yes. Hear, hear about what's going on with you and your girl. Hey. Hi. Hey, how's it going? You guys look Not gorgeous. You guys look Hold beautiful. On. Hold on. Well, Come no, here. we here. don't. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my God. Where are you? Hold right on. There. We're right there. Oh, there they are. Right. Hey. We're working. Right. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? We're getting dinner ready, too, though. Let's what see. Making? What are you guys making? All right. So let me turn this around, okay? So I actually have a friend Let's of mine see. who brought dinner over uh, last night from one of his restaurants. He's got an Indian restaurant here in Palm Beach. So here Holy we've got, let we've me got pork shank. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. We have oh, um, wow. an eggplant, curried eggplant. Nah, that looks pork. amazing. Okay. Oh, Le yeah. left leftover from last night. That's ribs and mashed potatoes. Oh, you guys are mm. having like a whole smorgasbord. You're putting There's a smorgasbord together. We well, this is thanks to my friends from um, from restaurant um, in Palm Beach called Staj. He brought it over for us last night. Oh, oh my it. god! Wow. How long would it take him to get to Santa Barbara? Ooh. Oh, what's Ooh. that? Cheers! Cheers! Hey guys, hard yes. <laughs> so to see you on here. Oh my god! Somebody said well, I was reading some of the comments. Somebody said that you should have Hell's Kitchen runner-up. You won, in my opinion. They said some, uh, they, anyway. They said whatever you. They said you won. Oh, bottom line. Nice. G Funk's in the house. Said you won. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. Good to see you, though. Yeah. That was delicious. Huh? Wow, a little ceviche okay. action going on here. Right. Have you, you guys been baking at all, too? I cannot find flour. We don't have flour. We can't we find flour, flour either. In Florida right now. We have this much flour left. <laughs> That's about how much we have. I'm like, I just want to make cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're eating it's... well, we're working out, and we're drinking. Happy hour starts about 7 p.m. here at our house. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Hey, let me say. It's a it's happy hour. Happy hour all day over here. Why do you think we started this show day? at 5 o'clock every day? <laughs> you're, you're beating us. You're ahead of us. <laughs> we're, trying to move that. we're trying to move that a little bit earlier, too. You, know? you guys are amazing. I will. Got Dominic, you Dominique Cren said, hello. Oh, hi, Dominique. Oh. Dom in the house. Dominic Crane in the house. Oh! Yeah, it's awesome. almost your birthday too, Dom. Oh yeah, we are. Are we both Aries? Yeah. Uh, well, yes, indeed. Friday too. Yeah, we made it's in our calendar, right? Okay, Friday, yes. Friday, five o'clock. Grill out. Happy birthday to me. You guys join in. You gotta be here. Okay, so listen, yep. everybody who's out there listening. So you guys, when you come on, so we ha there has to be a quarantini, okay? <laughs> it could be of your choice. It could be a mocktail, a cocktail. It could be whatever you have on hand. Quarantini. We're all going to do one big virtual collective toast around the world. Okay, That's five. Good. Let's say five fifteen. Immutini. 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 <laughs> Turmeric, I love it. Rum, it's really good. Healthy. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Nicole, that's it. Everybody, make sure you sure. have a quarantini. <laughs> hey, quarantini. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you have on hand. All right, you guys. Have Much bye. love. Have, have a great a, night. Call it. Yes, bon appetit. Bye bye. Bye. All right, you guys. Well. It's been amazing. I'm so happy. Happy Monday to everybody. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay healthy. Wrap your arms around your family. Appreciate every single moment um, that we have of this because we may not see this ever again where we have this much time with our family, this much quality time. And I know that I'm going to give my kids and my wife a big hug and kiss. We're going to have a gorgeous meal tonight. And love to all of you. See you again tomorrow night. 5 p.m., same time, same place. Somebody said you need salsa on those chips. Oh, it's coming. I got some salsa. <laughs> I love it. Take care, you guys.